Hello, this is Vivek. In this video, we are going to see binding input values with anonymous arrays. In previous video, we have seen with a named array. I am going to create a new file and I will use a code from bindanonymous.php and I will create a, an array. And the difference between a named array and anonymous array is we don't use a keys for our array. Here I am copying this code from this file creating a new file, pasting it here and I will save this as bind array anonymous.php anonymous.php and I am going to copy this values array and I am replacing with the bind value and bind param statements we don't use this uh, keys here, we just use values and these values will be linked with the positions that is column positions first name to the first value in our array and a last name to second value in the array and email that is a third column third value in the array and gender is in the fourth position gender column is in the fourth position so fourth value will, will be linked to fourth value in array the link to gender column and the final age age will be linked to last value in our array and uh, we should uh, put this values array in our uh, execute method dollar values you can use our entire array inside execute method we will see that we will see how we can use that later for now i am going to load this file in our browser find array and anonymous.php output and the result is boolean true if i reload this page php mindman here we are seeing the 17th record data is inserted in our database we are able to successfully bind input values with anonymous array also all these uh, column names will be linked with the positions if we have any problem with uh, our column names that is if we change the column names later we should check the values in our array Otherwise, uh, data will be messed up in our database. Here I am passing uh, array directly in our execute method. Here I am updating this data and executing. Here this record is inserted. Even passing array directly in our execute method. You can use it in named array also. You can use this process in named array also. Here we have seen binding input values in this section in the next section we will see binding output values